since I was a kid. I've always been criticized for my looks. I don't understand why people make such a clear distinction. Beautiful people are always the best. But me! Today is my first day at school. I hope I can make friends with as many people as possible. My mom bought this for me and it's very expensive. Really? Let me see. Um, hello everyone. No, you can only look at it, not hold it. You're so selfish. I just want to touch it a little bit. You're a boy. So what? And my name is Gemma. I... No. Give it to me. Oh no! If it breaks then it's all your fault. What? It's your fault because you didn't let me hold it. What? It's still fine. Look. Huh? Oh, thank you. Ugh. Ah, what's wrong? Ugh, why are you so ugly? What, what? Ew, you're the ugliest person I've ever seen. Impossible. You're a girl. Get out of me. I don't need that bracelet anymore. I, I'm so sorry. Did I do something wrong? Shut up. If you touch me, I'll be as ugly as you. Ew. Get out of me, too. I fine. I'll do that. I'm so sorry. Ew. What's wrong with her face? It's terrible. Ugh. Why are they so rude? Heck. Even though school was a bit bad today, I'm still fine. It's because they're so rude. I can't be that ugly. Today I drew a picture for my aunt. Since my parents died, she is the only one who has taken care of me and raised me. So this is my gift and I will send it to her. Yeah, she's so annoying. She looks exactly like my sister, ugly and useless. What is she talking about? I can't kick her out of the house because she's the daughter of the men I love, after all. Yeah, yeah, you're right. The only thing I'm disappointed in is that she has the exact same face as her mother. If she's as pretty as her dad, oh my god, I'll love her for the rest of my life. Is she talking about me? Yeah, her name is Gemma. That's the only, the reason I don't hate about her, because Riley named her. So she's really talking about me. Say no more, later, when she turns 18, I will invite her out of my house. I really ran out of patience with her. Uh. Huh? Gemma, is that you? Maybe I imagine the sound of footsteps. And it was the first time in my life that I felt so hurt because my aunt criticized my appearance. I gradually became more withdrawn and didn't dare to face people anymore. At the school. There's no one here. Great! At least I have a peaceful time here. I hope no one notices me sitting here. At least even though she called me ugly, she still gave me lunch. How lucky I am. Here she is. Hee hee. So she's hiding here. Quickly. Hee hee. Ah. Ha ha ha. No, no. Get out. Get out. Ah, spider. I hate spider. Ugh. No, not again. I haven't finished my lunch yet. Such a waste. I'm still hungry. Here, she eats food that falls on the ground. And no, I didn't do that. Huh, we have already seen you do that. Hey everyone, look, she ate the food that fell to the ground. She really is a freak. No, stay away from me. Who, who, who? Hey, she's running away. Catch her. Hoo hoo hoo. What the? Why did you go home so quickly? 
Are you skipping school? And no, aunt, please listen to me. There were two guys who bullied me. They threw spiders at me. What? Just that? And that's why you dropped out of school to go back home and waste my money? What? No, I. Just shut up. You even soiled the clothes I let you wear. Look at you right now, dirty and ugly. Go get changed and go to school right now. But I. Don't argue with me. Know yourself. Ugh. She really doesn't care about me. Chee Chee, so annoying. Some days later, at the school. Hee <laughs> hee. Do it quickly. The teacher is coming. I know, I know. Attention class, today is a special day, so I hope no one is late. I'm sorry, I fell asleep at the library. Ugh, I was just going to hide from them for a bit, but I accidentally fell asleep at the library. Huh? I don't like late students, Gemma. I'm sorry, I just... Teacher, please, she was only a few seconds late. Yeah. Throwing her out of class is too much. So please. What? What's wrong with them? Go back to your seat, Gemma. I'll forgive you today, but there won't be a next time. Yes, thank you, teacher. Wait, what is this? What's with my chair? Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> so this is why they are suddenly nice to me. Evil. Sit down, Gemma. Why haven't you settled down yet? Don't you want to start class? But teacher, my chair... Oh, come on, Gemma. You can't do like that. We even begged the teacher to forgive you just to let you in for this class. What's wrong with you? We really want to learn right now. Quickly sit down. You? Gemma, don't mess around anymore. Sit down now or get out of my class. Ugh, I... I can't get out of class. Auntie will definitely scold me. Ugh. You! She really does that. Haha, <laughs> I will tell everyone about this. Heck, who who? Silent. Don't make any more noises. If not, I'll give you a test right away. Yes, yes, teacher. We promise not to make another noise. I hate this class. After finishing that class, I immediately ran home. I accepted arguing with my aunt to ask for a transfer. But I realized that no matter how many schools I transfer, people still look at me with discrimination eyes. Seven years later. As I grew up, the bullying almost faded away. I tried to live as dimly as possible so as not to be stigmatized. Hey, have you heard the news yet? What? There's a girl who just moved here, right? Whoa, you know that? Why not? I know everything. So what? Is there anything special? God, you don't know anything. She's a photo model. She is as beautiful as an angel. Wait, what? Impossible. What class is she in? Next class. I have to admit that she is very pretty. I'm a girl and I still like her. Yeah, she's so pretty. Not like someone. No, no, don't mind me. I'm invisible, I'm invisible. Yeah, you're right. But I bet I'm still pretty in your eyes, right? Ah, uh, of course, Lily. You are the best. Same thought. Phew, they ignored me. Luckily... Whoa! Finally! Let's go to karaoke together. Lovely idea. I want to do that too. Then let's go. Finally, they're gone. I think I'll go to the library for a bit. Ouch. Watch out, please. Yes, sorry. I'm so sorry. I wasn't careful. I carried too many books, so it was...
Let me help you. Wow, look at her. She's so beautiful. Oh, I know her. She's Daisy. W what? No, no, you don't need to do that. I'm fine. I can do it by myself. Don't say that, Gemma. I also help you because I'm not careful. Here, let me carry it for you. Wait, does she really want to help me? She even knows my name. But why do you know my name? I see you sitting at the library often, and I bet you're an avid reader. That's why I know you. Wow, this really impressed me. Thanks. Ah, don't say that. You are really special, Gemma. Just like your name, a gemstone. Oh my. Ha <laughs> ha. This is the first time someone complimented me. Thank you. You deserve hundreds of compliments, Gemma. Oh my. She treats me completely differently from everyone else. But, don't you find me annoying? Uh, I mean. What are you saying? I never considered you a nuisance. Really? Sorry. It's just that I'm so happy, so, hick. It's okay, Gemma. Now, I'll be here with you. Let be friend, Gemma. Thank you so much, Daisy. You just made my day. You're welcome. If possible, I hope that one day I can recommend a book that I like the most. Ah, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Oh shoot, my auntie. I forgot it's pretty late now, I have to go back first. Okay, bye. See you tomorrow. See you. After that, Daisy and I became best friends. She always follows me everywhere, but I always get more complaints than when I'm alone. Hey bestie, what are you doing? Huh, what's wrong? And nothing, Daisy. I, I just need some alone time. You mad at me? No, no, I didn't mean that. Then talk to me, please. You've been avoiding me since yesterday. It's because. Huh? What's wrong? I'm so ugly and insignificant, I feel when I'm around you, I'm ashamed of you. Oh my, why do you think like that? People talk around, a lot. I don't want to embarrass you, Daisy. I... No, Gemma, you can't say that. Wait, why are you crying? I am sorry. No, don't say anything else. You're my friend and only friend, you know? Going with you, I am very confident. I have never felt embarrassed at all. Ugh, uh... I mean. You you really think so? Don't you feel embarrassed walking next to me? That's so good. Of course, Gemma. You're my best friend, right? Ignore all the bad guys, okay? Just focus on us and only me. I'm the only one who thinks well of you. Please cherish me. Yes, I will do that, Daisy. You are my only friend. I will never leave you again, I promise. You better do that, or else I will be so sad. Haha. <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe Daisy is my greatest happiness. And I'm so lucky to have her by my side. Sometime later. It's Daisy's birthday coming up. I'll give her a present. Should I use up all my savings to buy her a present? Uh, hi. Hey, over there. Ah, uh, why yes. Who are you? Ah, he is the leader of the school basketball team. Ah, my name is Zane, and you're Gemma, right? Yes, yes. I just wanted to ask if you are free. OMG, what is that? Yeah, I mean yes, I'm free. What happened? I find you quite cute, so can you, uh, go out with me this weekend? I bought two movie tickets. Oh my god, what good is this? A cute guy came to talk to me and invited me to a movie? Of course, I will go with you. Cool, then take your ticket and see you that night. Yes, see you. I need to go first. But anyway, it, it's so nice to meet you. Ah, uh, nice to meet you too. Yay, the first guy I talked to in my life. Things have been lucky lately, I'm so happy. At the weekend, because I was so nervous and it was my first date, I arrived 10 minutes early. 
Hee hee. I hope he likes my new look. I tried to learn how to do makeup online. Same? What a beautiful name. 20 minutes later. Huh? Am I looking at the wrong time? He hasn't come yet. The movie will be on in 5 minutes. Maybe he'll come close to the movie show times? One hour later. So cold. What is this? Why didn't he come? The movie has been showing for one hour. What do I do now? Or has he forgotten the date? No, no way. One hour later. What am I waiting for? This is definitely a joke. No one will ever agree to love an ugly person like me. I'm well going home. Gemma, wait for me. What, Zane? I thought you. Wait, he just missed my date. I have nothing to say with you, Zane. Get off. No, no, please. Listening to me. Letting a girl wait for you for two hours on a first date is the worst thing ever, Zane. I know that, and I'm so, so sorry. My brother was in a car accident, and, and I was shocked. What? Oh my god. Is that why you're late? I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know that. Oh no, that's not your fault, Gemma. That's all my fault. I was so panicky that I forgot to contact you. No, no. I already forgive you, Zane. How is your brother? Is he okay? T, thank you. He's fine now. Let me redeem you by taking you home, okay? I will give you another date. Oh my. Okay, okay. I'll forgive you, Zane. Your brother's accident was so unexpected. Thank you for worrying about him. I still feel so sorry, so I want to tell you this, Gemma. Yeah? Will you? Will you be my girlfriend? I really want you to be my girlfriend. My only girl. W what? What did you just say? No way. Are you sure? I I. I'm honest, Gemma. I really need you and want to be with you. You're so kind and cute. So. Yes, I'll be your girlfriend. Oh my god, really? Thank you so much, Gemma. Please, say it again for me, okay? Why yes, I'll be your girlfriend, Zane. Oh my, this is so embarrassing. Then see you soon, Gemma. Goodbye. Oh, ah goodbye. He left so fast. Ah, so cute. Maybe it's because he's shy like me. I'll see him again tomorrow. I have to tell Daisy this. Even though Zane confessed to me, he was always busy and didn't show up much. So I went to find him myself. Hmm, where is she? She promised to meet me here. Babe. Ah, Gemma, why are you? Since you didn't come looking for me, I came here to find you. Why haven't you talked to me since you confessed? Oh no, can you just say it in quietly? Oh, let me guess. Did I confuse you? Or are you too shy to meet me? Stop. Ah, come on, babe. I know you like me. Can you just shut up? Ugh. Gosh, I already told you. Speak in low volume. But, why are you angry? Oops. What the hell, dude? Blind? Huh? Ugh. Damn it. It's him. As uh, sorry, I didn't know it was you. Oh yeah? I'm out. Hey wait. Ignore him. He doesn't deserve you. What? Who are you? Forget about it. I'm not in the mood to talk now. Yeah. After school, at the library. What's wrong with Zane? He left me again, the basketball team is so busy. Ugh, how could I know? Oh, that book. I want to get them, but they're too high. Oh, thanks.
Um, I gotta go. Don't you remember who I am? Huh? What do you mean? Never mind. Forget what I just said. Wait, have we met? You really don't remember? I don't interact with many people, so you know. Hum, okay. I get it. So, my name is Gemma. Finn. He's pretty quiet. Okay, nice to meet you, Finn. Same to you, Gemma. What should I say next? He doesn't move. You haven't changed. What? When did we meet? When you were young like a candy. No way. I can't remember. I can see that. It's okay. So I guess I will see you, tomorrow? If you say so. Okay. When did he and I meet? I can't remember. I will ask him later. I hope she won't scold me. At least I got what she said. <sighs> oh my god. Are you okay, ma'am? Are you injured anywhere? Oh my, thank you, young guru. I'm too old to go home alone. My back hurts like hell. Where do you live? I'll call a taxi for you. Oh, ha. no thanks. My house is very close. Just a little walk to get there. So let me help you. It's dangerous to let you go home alone. Oh. Are you sure about that? I advise you not to go with strangers. Even an old woman like me, here. I know that, ma'am. But I also can't leave you. Just let me help you, okay? You're a stubborn girl, but that's okay, I kinda like you. Haha, <laughs> thank you, ma'am. She talks a bit strange, but it's okay. I want to thank you in advance. You're welcome. Wow, damn, her house looks so gloomy. Do old people often live in such houses? Yes, we usually live in houses like that. I'm sorry, what? What was that? Haha, <laughs> do you want to come into my house? I have tea and cake. Oh haha, -ha. no thanks. My aunt is waiting for me at home, she will scold me if I don't come home now. Don't worry, she's drunk. She's not at home right now. She probably won't be back until late at night. W what? She says all sorts of strange things. Well, you're right. So now come with me. Wait, did you just read my mind? Who knows? Come on, come in. But... Wah, wow, what is that? Ugh. Home sweet home. Wait, wait. I really need an explanation. Calm down, girl. I will tell you right now. Tada. I'm done. What? Oh my god. Are you okay? Fifteen minutes later. Am I dreaming? Oh no. I'm not dreaming. Yes, you're not dreaming, little girl. I'm real. What? What are you? No, no, no. I need to do this. What the? Yes, I'm not dreaming. A young lady. But, really? Who are you? I'm a witch, as you can see. But Halloween is long gone. You're such a boring girl, Gemma. You know my name? How? Oh wait, you even know my aunt while I haven't said it. As you can see. Impossible. Do you really exist? I mean I've only seen you in fairy tales. Not in a real life. Of course, because even if we appear in real life, you won't recognize us. What do you mean? Everyone considers me a magician. Oh yeah, I can see that. But why me? 
You showed me that you really are a witch. Because you helped me. And I know you're a good girl. Oh wow, thank you. To repay you, I'll give you a present. What do you wish for? Wow, that sounds great. I've always wanted one wish. I can't bring the dead back to life, girl. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? Yeah. I know you want to see your parents again. But Gemma, I'm just a little witch, not a god. Let's make that clear. Ugh. Oh well. Then I can't think of anything. Are you sure? Huh? Wait, can you do that? Yeah. Of course I can do that. You're on the right track. That's what I really want. I always wish I could become more beautiful. Then come with me, girl. It's time for magic. Cool. I know you are wishing to be beautiful, and I can help you with that. Thank you so much. The only one thing I have to tell you first. Yes? I can't make you beautiful all at once because my power is limited. Oh no. But that doesn't mean I'm out of ways. Look at this. Daisy? I can swap your face with another girl. What? But only the person closest to you can swap with you. This girl is the only one who talked to you all the time you went to school. Am I right? Yes, you're right, but... After you swap faces with her, you will gradually have a face like hers. And about her... She will have my face? Yes, that's what I want to say. No way, it can't be. She's my only friend. I can't hurt her like that. Why you think so? Don't you want to be beautiful? She's a good person. When the whole world turns its back on me, she's the only one to protect me. She's my bestie, so... So you don't want to upset her? Yes. So what else do you wish for? I haven't thought of it yet. I have a piece of advice for you, Gemma. Yes? People you know can hurt you the most. What do you mean? You will realize it soon. Okay, thank you. Now it's time to go home, Gemma. What? Oh poor girl. The heart is too big, but contains the wrong person. After that event, I woke up in my room, Everything was like a dream. Daisy said she was busy today, so she left first. It's okay, anyway, I want to read a few more books. Oh, you are, uh, I mean, Finn. Hey. What are you reading? Love poem. Pfft, oh uh, no, I'm sorry. What's wrong? No, no, nothing. Big boy with big hurt, huh? It's cute anyway. Ahem. Oh, can I ask something? Yes. Can you tell me specifically when you meet me? I can't. Huh? Why? I want you to remember it yourself. This is probably his longest sentence. So what made you remember me for so long? I mean, you see, I don't stand out at all. Kind. What? You're kind and gentle. Damn it. Why am I blushing? Wait. Why do you think like that? I mean, I don't think that way. But I am. What's wrong with this guy? Haha. -ha. Don't say you already like me. I have a boyfriend. Yes. Huh? I already like you. I just tell the truth. Ugh, even though he doesn't talk much, he can still make me blush like this. It's okay, I can handle this. I will stay away from him because I already have a boyfriend. Oh yeah, and about Zane. He's been ignoring me all the time ever since we confessed. Oh, haha, you're so funny, babe. Tell me more, please. Huh, that voice? Daisy? I thought she was home. She agreed to be the girlfriend of a new guy who made her wait for almost three hours. 
Ridiculous, huh? Wait, Zane, and what? Pfft, really? Did she really forgive you? She is really stupid. If I were her, I'd kick your ass. Oh no, if you were her, I'd come 30 minutes early just to see you first. Aw, smooth talker. I even lied to her about my brother. Brother? Haha, <laughs> I'm the only child in the family. And yet, she also believes. Ha ha ha. Like you said, you challenged me to flirt with her. I already do it. What now? I'll give you a kiss, okay? Of course, I love that. But why are you friends with her? She's too ugly and doesn't deserve you. And that's the main reason, silly boy. Since she's ugly, when she's next to me, I'm a lot more confident. Beauty and the Beast, do you understand? Ah, I get it. She took advantage of me. Now talk to her more, let her trust you. Then take that opportunity to say goodbye to her in the crowded schoolyard. Pfft, oh my, she will definitely cry and look pitiful. He he, you're so evil, Daisy. But that's why I love you. Ah, don't think of me like that. Since she's overconfident, I want to let her know where her position is. An ugly person like her would never be my friend. You're right. I am possible. She... Am I hallucinating? I don't know either. It's like someone's here. Nah, ignore that and have some more fun, okay? Okay, babe. BF, what are you doing? I have to give them a punishment. Calm down. Calm? How the F? After all, the friend I trusted the most took advantage of me. She... Gemma? People you know can hurt you the most. Haha. <laughs> now I understand. Wait, Gemma. What? They are the bad guys. They will be punished. But you don't have to. Ha, huh, thanks. I know what I need to do right now. But I trust you. What does it mean? I can't remember who you are. I don't believe you. Ugh, right. I can't do anything else. So, I think you changed your mind. Obviously you already know that. Why didn't you tell me? Girl, sometimes there are some things you have to find out for yourself. If I told you the truth now at that time, would you believe me? She is right. I'm so sorry. I was so angry. It's okay. Everyone has to be angry. You don't regret this, do you? Never. Great. I love that energy. This face, right? Yes. I want her to taste my pain. Ha ha ha. That energy is what makes this miracle stronger. You are very interesting, Gemma. I will fulfill your wish. From that moment on, all I want to do is get revenge. The next day. Don't you think Daisy is a bit weird? I mean, she's been rumored to be dating many men at once. Ew, really? I knew it. She keeps doing shady things. Who knows? What if it's just a rumor? Oh, I heard she's Gemma's best friend. Huh? Who is Gemma? She's in our class, stupid. Wait, really? I don't know what Daisy is thinking. She insists on clinging to Gemma. It's not our business anyway. I think it's best we should. He's the new student, right? Yeah, he's 6'8". Impossible, right? Hey, 
It's not good to keep whispering about a newcomer. But look at him. That height is really impressive. And yeah, I heard he practices boxing and karate. Damn, really? Stop, guys. Now you guys are talking too loudly. But. Hi, guys. Oh, shoot. Who are you? Ah,、uh, no. I mean, Gemma. Is that you? Oh my god, you look so amazing, girl. You look like a different person. Oh my, really? Thank you, guys. Gemma, why didn't I realize your beauty sooner? Yeah, you look really stunning. Ah, thank you, Lily. Oh shit. Are we talking too loud? I, I don't know. Finn? You're not Gemma. W what? Hey, that's so rude, bro. She is her. If she's not Gemma, then who is? It's it's okay, Lily. I think he's just joking. No one jokes with such a black face. I mean, scowl face. After having this beauty, I immediately thought of Zane and Daisy. I need to go see what Daisy is looking like. Ouch! Ugh, are you blind? Wait, Daisy? Gemma? Oh, she is covering her face. Here you are, Daisy. I'm looking for you. Looking for me? For what? I have nothing to say to you. After this magic takes effect, people will naturally forget Daisy's real face. Even her. Ah. Don't mad at me. We are friend, right? Friend? I have never had a friend like you. A beautiful person like you naturally notice me. How? Ah, I love this line. Because I'm your bestie. Really? I don't know what to say. Gemma, here you are, my babe. What? Oh, whoa. Don't be mad at me, babe. I was not with you yesterday, but today I will be with you. All day long. Ha!、Huh. He immediately changed his attitude towards me. Oh, why should I trust you? I will buy you everything you want, okay? Well, I will think about that. What the hell? Zane, here you are. Why did you leave yesterday? You said you love me. Ugh, what? I never said that. Do you have any proof? You can't just sleep with me and leave like that. You asshole. Shut up. My girlfriend is here. I love only Gemma. That's it. Ugly people like you have no right to speak up. You, you can't say that to me. Gemma, say something. We are friends, right? Why would you do this to me? You stole my boyfriend. I didn't do that. He was my boyfriend from the very beginning. Yes, you're right, babe. Don't listen to her. She's just jealous of you. Yeah, I can see that, Zane. She's jealous of my beauty. Ugh. And we are not friends anymore, Daisy. W what? You've been trying to steal my boyfriend, so I have no reason to be friends with you anymore. Wait, no way. He's the one who tricked you. As shut up, you bitch. Don't say that in front of my girlfriend. Ouch! Hoo hoo! No way! Ha!、Huh, she deserves it. You're being too proud, Daisy. You should know your place. I I. What the? Are you okay? Hick. Thank you. Ugh! That damn guy again. Finn, what the hell? Don't call my name. Hey. Phew. Finally, he's gone. You know him, Gemma. I don't like him at all. So let's break up, dude. I don't want to talk with you anymore. What? I don't like repeating it a second time. Piss off. No way. You can't do that to me. Whatever Daisy told you, it's not true. You know I love you, Gemma. Ugh. Damn it. Looks like he's the only one who notices my change.
Finn? Yes. He still answers me, but doesn't look at me like before. Do you see my change? If I said yes? What? Why do you know? I mean the people around don't notice. It doesn't mean I don't notice. Why? I don't know. You just you. But. You don't just change your face. Don't talk nonsense, Finn. If you say you like me, then you must know how beautiful I want to be. I know. I am more beautiful now. You must congratulate me. But I don't care how you look, Gemma. I love your soul. What? But now. Wait. You're not the girl I know anymore. What the hell is wrong with him? I don't understand what he's saying. Ugh, forget about him. Now that I'm pretty, it's easier for me to make friends. I don't need him. It is true that after possessing beauty, I am always favored over others. Even when I'm late for school or come home late, my aunt doesn't scold me. I'm home. OMG, you're finally home. I've been waiting for you. What's wrong? I cooked your favorite dish. Come on, can't let my pretty girl go hungry. Oh, okay, auntie. Pretty girl, this is the first time she said that to me. What the? Tata, you like it? That's too much food. Not to my girl. You deserve all the love in the world, Gemma. You. Now sit down and eat, okay? If your dad knew you grew up to be this pretty, he'd probably be proud. What about my mom? Your mom? Nah, forget about her. She's so ugly, you don't look like her at all. You are more like your father. And that's the reason why I love you so much, Gemma. Because I'm pretty? Yeah, I can see that. She has never cooked me such a hearty meal. This is painful, even though I'm beautiful. Everything is like a lie. Do you really love me, auntie? Of course I love you so much, my dear. Why are you asking like that? Nothing. I love you too. Even though she hates me and used to say hurtful things to me, I still can't stop loving her. What's wrong, dear? Do I make you sad? No, just delicious food. Ah, uh, if you like it, I can cook for you every day. Thank you. You're welcome. Since being pretty, I've become more popular. It's annoying, but it's the first time I've gotten this much attention, so I don't hate it. Oh, my, I always want to talk to him. But he's so handsome. I'm afraid I don't stand a chance. Oh, is she liking him? It's gonna be fun. Right, I will talk to him, right now. Hey Eugene, nice to meet you. How, do I know you? Um, maybe you don't know me, but I know you. And um, if you want, can you? Can you talk out loud? I can't hear anything. I said. Ouch. What the hell? Oh my god, I'm so so sorry. I think you're so cool at soccer, so I wanted to try kicking it too, but I slipped. Oh, it's okay. I'm I'm still fine. Ha, huh, all boys like pretty girls. Gemma, why are you? Oh Daisy, what are you doing in here? Did you know that interrupting a guy while they are playing soccer is a very rude? What? No, I just... She's right. I think you shouldn't bother me. But why? She can? I know it. I didn't mean to annoy him. I will leave now. Oh no, I'm not saying you're bothering me, Gemma. I'd be happy if I could teach you how to play soccer. Ah, really? Oh my god. Thank you so much, pretty boy. Oh, ha ha. You're welcome. Impossible. This is not fair. You keep messing with me, Gemma. You obviously notice him, because I notice him too.
What are you talking about, Daisy? You make me feel so bad. I just want to play soccer. What? You just... Hey, stop, Daisy. You must know your place, okay? Wait, excuse me? I wouldn't even know an ugly girl like you. Ugh, fine. You guys are so cruel. Hoo hoo hoo. Now do you understand how I feel, Daisy? Belittled. Humiliated. You are the one who deserves it. But why do I feel so uncomfortable? So I will teach you some of my favorite moves. Talk later, Eugene. I have to go. Hey, wait. At least give me your number. I want to contact you again. Finn? Yes. Why are you here? I thought you hated me. I didn't say that. Weird. Can I sit? Whatever. What's wrong? I feel weird. Like what? Obviously, I have successfully avenged Daisy and Zane, but something is strange. I feel sorry. Oh no. There's no way I can regret it. My feelings are confused. I didn't like them, so I took revenge on them. But the problem is I don't feel I'm getting better. Although being beautiful is a wonderful thing. But it's like a lie, and I hate lies. I can see that. So, what do you think? Am I crazy? No, never. You just want to be beautiful. But I'm sure you saw your old self when you bullied Daisy. What? Ugh. Damn it. You may be right, Finn. No, you was right. Is that why you were cold to me? Because I became like them who hurt me. I care about you. That's all I want to say. Oh boy. You confused me again. I'm honest. I just don't want you to lose yourself. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Moreover, I prefer your own face. You are beautiful in your own way. Ah, shut it. It's not fair that you compliment me with that innocent face. Why am I the only one blushing? I'm blushing too. No, you're not. Then I will try. Pfft, ha ha ha. You really are weird, Finn. Sorry. And you are so cute when you blush. S shut up. I already know it. Okay. Ugh. Calm, calm. So, you said you like my real face, right? Haha. -ha. Are you sure? I have never lied. That's the most famous lie. I have never lied to you, Gemma. I really like you. Fine, fine. Now I have my answer. Come with me. Okay. Come in. Oh, Lala. My little girl. What do we have here? His name is Finn, and he's my friend. Hi. Friend. I thought he's your boyfriend. What? Not now, but soon. What? He. I love your energy, big boy. So, what can I help you? I want to go back to normal, ma'am. I know you'll be wondering a lot of things, but I got it. I don't want to lose myself, even my face. Finn made me realize that no matter what I am, there will always be someone by my side who will accept me. And he likes me, I think he's sincere. Stop Finn, you making me nervous. I'm glad you understand what I'm saying. Of course I understand it. Haha. <laughs> I know what you want and okay. I will fulfill your wish. In the end, I chose to return to my original face. Although I have a bit of regret about that beauty, I'm more confident now. After completing the last spell, the house and the witch completely disappeared. I don't know why, but I will say thank her a thousand times if I can do it again. At least this time I had someone by my side. Things have been so chaotic lately. I feel like I can't keep up with the news anymore. Same. I told you to stop stalking other people. No, I'm not. It's just a rumor. Speaking of rumors, I heard that Daisy transferred schools. Because she dates too many people and then cheats on them. Damn, if I were her, I wouldn't dare go to school. Same. What about Gemma? Huh? Why do you want to ask about her? 
Lately, I've seen her happier and talk a lot more. She's really cute. Whoa, are you gay? Shut up, dude. I'm not. I'm bi. It sounds almost the same. And even if I really like her, I don't stand a chance. She already has a boyfriend. Don't tell me she loves him, that big guy. What should I say? Yes, she loves him, they are lovers. Sound cute. I don't know why and how they fall in love, but it sounds cute, right? Yeah, yeah, you're right. Ha ha. The end. Oops, I'm sorry. I almost forgot this. I never wanted to hit them. But why do they bully me just because I'm taller than them? They even call my parents monsters. Hick. Oh no, that sounds horrible. W what? People who have bad mouths do you and your parents. Don't play with them anymore, okay? Who are you? I'm Gemma. Nice to meet you. I heard you crying and wanted to comfort you. I'm Finn. Thank you. Here, take this. Don't cry over those bad people. You're awesome. But promise me you won't fight next time, okay? Why, yeah. Don't make yourself a bad guy like them. Be yourself. Thank you, Gemma. You're welcome. Gemma, where are you? Oh no, my auntie. So, bye-bye, Finn. Hope we can meet again. Okay, bye and uh, see ya. Saya. Well, she may no longer remember me. As long as I remember her is enough. Babe, can you change your baby's diaper? I am cooking. Sure, I'll do it now. And let me do it for you. Ha ha. Come on, you haven't let me cook since we got married. Because I can do it for you. I love you, Gemma. Ah, uh, look at you, hee hee. I love you too, Finn. The end. Nathan is a newborn baby with a rather unusual birthmark. I'm so excited to our new baby. He will be so adorable, I guess. Of course he is. Mom, Mom, can we go play outside? She can't play outside right now. She has to take care of the baby in her belly. He's right, sweetie. I can't play with you. Your little brother is about to come to our life at any time. What's wrong, honey? How do you feel right now? Give me your hand. Do you feel it? Oh, I just felt it. Is he kicking? Raymond, come here. You might want to feel it too. What is it, Dad? Put your hand into Mom's belly. Oh, oh. What is that in your belly, Mom? Ha ha, he's your little brother, dummy. Five years ago, you were still in the womb just like him now. Oh, I'm having a brother? Yes, that's right. Yay, I'm going to have a little brother. I will take good care of you and him so he can play football with me. We raised him well, Emily. Yes, we did. Okay, now I will take Mom to rest, and you play something else, okay? Yes, Dad. In the morning. I will take good care of mom so my little brother can be so healthy. Okay, all done. Hope she enjoys this meal. Hi, mom. Good morning, Raymond. What are you bringing for me? Oh, I made breakfast for you, mom. Oh, thank you, honey. You are so thoughtful. Hope you enjoy it, mom. Everything is for our little brother. I will go play Roblox now. Do you feel your brother's love, Troy? He said he would do everything for you. He's such a nice brother. Ouch, it hurts. Raymond, call ambulance for me. I think I'm about to give birth. So how is my son's health, doctor? Is he okay? Yes, his conditions is very good. The nurse is taking care of him. She will bring him to you soon. Your son is very cute, ma'am. Can I hold him, please? Of course. Here you are. D. 
Dad, you came. Lucy, I came here as fast as possible. That's okay. Everything is done now. Everything is already done. Is he okay? Yes, you can come and see our son. Oh, my sweet beau, welcome to our family. Can I hold him? He edge your eyes, Lucy. Oh, I forgot. What are we gonna name him? Raymond and I decided to name him Troy. Do you like that name? Yes, I do. It sounds very strong. Oh wait, there is a stain or something on Troy's forehead. It's not a stain, it's his birthmark. A, a birthmark. birthmark. What happened? Everyone looks a little disappointed. Is it because of the birthmark on his face? I feel like it's a normal thing. There is no need to be ashamed about this. Okay, okay. I don't need to hear your lecture lesson. I can't believe his face like this. How much effort have we put in to take care of him? Now he has a birthmark on his face. He looks so ugly. He didn't deserve to be my son. What a waste of that effort. Troy's parents are displeased that he has a birthmark on his forehead. He is not treated well by his parents in the family and sees him as a bad omen. Five years later. Raymond is coming home soon. This is a surprise to him. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, honey. Honey. Oh, wow. Mom, dad. I'm surprised. That's right. We want to surprise you, honey. Today is your birthday and we want it to be special. Hi, everyone. Oh, what's this? Everyone is celebrating birthday for someone. How can you say something like that? You don't pay attention to everyone's birthday here in our house. I'm sorry, Mom. I will remember carefully next time. Today is your brother's birthday. Say happy birthday to him. You are so rude. I'm happy birthday to you, Raymond. Okay, go to your room. Your presence is no longer necessary. What? Go to your room, now. Okay, I have a present for you, honey. Really? I wonder what is it? Wow, thanks, Dad. <laughs> Why did they treat me bad like that? What did I do wrong? Am I not good to them enough? Or am I an adopted child, so they don't like me? Am I really an adopted child? No, no, I don't want to believe it. Oh my god, the shirt I bought for you is really beautiful. Thanks, Mom. It's been a long time since I have gifted from you. What? Don't forget about me. I'm the one chose that shirt. Ha <laughs> ha <laughs> Thanks you too, Dad. I love guys the most. Hoo-hoo. I want to join with them so bad. But I'm afraid I will ruin their atmosphere when they see my face. What should I do to make them like me? Tomorrow morning. I hope if I do this, they will like me back. <laughs> Wake up, Raymond. It's morning. What? What? What's going on here? Why are you entering my room without my permission? What? I just wanted to call you to wake up. It's morning now and I already prepared your breakfast, Raymond. But today is a day off. You should go eat soon while it's still hot. Why are you still here? Get out of my room. You entered my room without permission. Ruin my sleep. Get out now because you make me very upset right now. I don't want to be called at this hour, because today is a day off. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay, I will go to parents' room. Mom, Dad, I made you breakfast. You can come downstairs and enjoy it. Troy, what are you doing so early in the morning? I want to make something nice for you. So I woke up early and made breakfast for everyone. Tro. I'm really mad because I don't want to disturb at the morning so early. I guess you should throw all food you just made into trash. We will eat something else later. What? I can't believe what you just said. Don't you think that we are too harsh on him? No. He deserved that. I put too much hope in him. Hoo-hoo. What did I do wrong? I just want to be a part of the family. They just hate me for no reason. I don't want to be the outcast. Another day at the class. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> loser. Why are you always sitting in the class all the time? What do you want? I don't want to be disturbed while I'm studying. Well, isn't that because you're a loser? And you don't have any friends to play with? Why are you always bullying me? I don't understand. Still don't know the reason? You're so stupid. Look at yourself, loser. Why do I have to look to look at myself? There's nothing wrong with myself. Go to the bathroom and look at your face yourself. 
and you will know the reason why. What's wrong with my face? What is he talking about? Something's on my face, or it is because of my birthmark here. But I think it's normal to me. So did you realize now? Is it my birthmark you were talking about? That's it, loser. You are such a weirdo. Look at your birthmark on your face. Doesn't it bother you? I feel fine. Why do you guys keep paying attention to my birthmark? If I were you, I will put on a mask or something to hide that weirdo. Weirdo! Ha ha. Ha ha. Stop bullying me. At home. Are they right that I should wear a mask to hide this birthmark? Mom, Dad, can I ask you something? Yes, Raymond, you can ask me anything. Um. Oh, it's you. What do you want? Oh, I'm sorry to bother you. Why don't you like me? Am I an adopted child? I understood that you two loved Raymond more than me. But I just want to know the reason. Is it because of my birthmark that you don't like me? Since you asked that question, we will tell you the truth. You are not an adopted child, but you made us so disappointed. What do you mean? Why did I make you disappointed? Because of the thing on your face. You look so ugly. We have too much hope that you will be the most handsome bull in our family. We took care of you better than Raymond. And now, look at you. What a disappointment. Hoo-hoo. I'm sorry. I don't want to be like this anymore. The only thing you can do right now is wear a mask or a bag or something. I don't care what that is. Just don't let us see your face. All I just saw is a disappointment. Yes, Mom, Dad, I understand. <coughs> Stupid birthmark, why are you here? I hate myself. I hate my life. This birthmark made my life so miserable. I guess I have to wear a mask or something. Troy's life is always being bullied by his friends because of his birthmark at Troy's house. I hope when I put on this, everyone will stop tease me. But if I put it on, it will make people notice me more. But they won't see this birthmark. I just need to find a reason to avoid their questions. Okay, time to school. Since then, to avoid being teased by everyone, Troy has always had to wear a mask to cover the birthmark. But that doesn't mean Troy will stop being bullied. Morning, everyone. So how is your weekend with your family? It's so perfect, teacher. We have a weekend picnic together. Wow, such a bonded family. I wish my family could be the same as his. That's wonderful, Bobby. So what about you, Troy? How is your weekend? Oh, um, it's just like every weekend. Nothing much. Sitting in my own room. My parents and my brother were going out without me. Oh, that's too bad. Is it because you don't want to come with them? Or are they not inviting you? I'd love to want to go with them. But I think I can't go with them. They just don't like my presence there. Troy, are you still here with us? Oh yes, teacher. I'm still here. It's just that they asked me if I wanted to come along, but I said no. But I think we should focus on the lesson, right? Okay then. After the lesson. Remember to do your homework, okay? The college entrance exam is coming up, so I need everyone to focus more on studying. Class dismiss. Hey there. Um, hi, who are you? I'm Troy's brother. Okay, what do you want? Nothing. But do you ever wonder why Troy always put his paper bag mask on his face? Um, he already told us a reason why he did that long time ago, but I forgot it. I don't really care about him, but why did he do that? You have to find out yourself. That will be a surprise for everyone. I wonder what he is hiding under his mask. Hey, Troy, what are you doing? Bobby, hey, I'm grabbing some books. So, what are you hiding under that paper bag mask? Um, why did you ask that? You never asked me that before. Just wondering, is there something wrong with your face? Um, I can't tell you that. Come on, show us your face. I don't know what your face looks like. Sorry, I can't. I haven't been noticing you for two years now. But now I'm interested in you, especially your face. Come on, put the mask away. Sorry, I have to go to the class. You are not going anywhere until you show me your real face. Yeah, show us your real face. I'm sorry, I can't do that. Oh gosh, what should I do? If I show them, they will see my weird birthmark. Don't let me do it for you, Troy. Stay away from me. Oh, oh my, my god. god. What the heck is that, Troy? What is on your face?
Why did you do that? Is that a birthmark or something? You had such a weird birthmark, weirdo. Now we all knew the reason why you did that. <laughs> Stop teasing me, please. Hey, hey, what is going on here? Everyone stands back. Okay, now what is going on here? It's nothing, teacher. Did you bully Troy? Everyone, go back to your class right now. There is nothing to see around here. Not you, Bobby. You stand right there. I didn't do anything, teacher. Troy, are you okay? Did Bobby bully you? What? I didn't bully him. I just want to see what his face looks like. You have no right to do that. If he doesn't want to show his face, then you shouldn't do that. Yes, I know, teacher. Here is your mask. Say sorry to him too. Sorry, Troy. Okay, now go back to the class. You're okay? I think I'm okay. Thank you for defending me. Is that your birthmark on your forehead? Yes, it's my birthmark. But that's just a birthmark. Why do you have to wear the mask? Are you afraid that your friends will laugh at it? I've had this fear since I was a kid just because this birthmark made my parents disappointed. Why did the birthmark disappoint your parents? You are not born to want this birthmark. So it makes no sense for your parents to be disappointed in you. They should be proud of you. You are a nice kid. Thanks, Miss Brianna. You are the first one to ever say such nice things to me. No one ever said that to me. I appreciate that. Okay, now go back to the class. At home. Hi, Mom, Dad. I'm home. Okay, I will go to my room now. I won't bother you anymore. <sighs> they still looked at me with disdain, like I am a disease or something. Miss Brianna is right. It's not that I want to be born with this birthmark. I should be proud of what I have on my face. There is nothing wrong with my face. Mom, Dad, I want to say something to you. I have endured this for many years. From now on, I will never wear this paper bag mask ever again. I'm happy with my face, even though this birthmark is on it. I didn't do anything illegal, so I don't have to wear this mask like a quack. You guys should be proud of me instead of staring at me like I am a disease. I feel so released when I can finally get all of the words out. What just happened? I had no idea, just ignore him. Hey, it's me. Who is texting me? I'm Raymond, Troy's brother. Oh, it's you. How do I know my Instagram account to text? It doesn't matter with I'm about to say to you. Okay, I'm listening. Tomorrow at the class. Hum, I see you not wearing that mask anymore. Yes, teacher. I'm listening to you. I threw it away. I'm proud of you, Troy. No need to hide it anymore. But where's Bobby? Has anyone seen him? I'm here, teacher. Sorry I'm late. Okay, go back to your seat. What the hell? Why does he has the same birthmark as me? Hey, what the hell is this? What do you mean? Oh, you mean this birthmark. Okay, boys, no talking in the class. After the lesson. Hey, Bobby, what the hell was that? That birthmark, are you trying to tease me? No, stay away from me. What? Why are you saying like that? Everyone helps me, please. Hey, stop saying that. What kind of mind game are you playing? Help me, guys, this guy is trying to harm me. Look at me, guys, now I am having a birthmark just like him. His birthmark can be contagious. Oh my god, I don't want that birthmark to be on my face. Run everyone, we should stay away from Troy. What? No wait, you guys, a birthmark cannot be contagious. Haha, ha. and now everyone in the school will be afraid of you. Are you crazy? Why did you do this to me? Hey hey, easy. It's not my idea that made you like this. So whose idea is that? Your brother Raymond. What the hell, Raymond? Ha ha, it was my idea. I told him to do it. Why did you do this to me? You are a loser. Look at your face. Who wants to be your friend with that birthmark on your face? It's like you want me to have it on my face. I never did. I was born with it. I never like it. How can I remove it? I have to live with it. You don't know how miserable my life is. Do you know how many bad words do I have to hear every day, huh? Do you know how I feel when I am like an outcast in your own house? Then you should never been born. 
You are a disappointment to our family. Wow, you took it too far, Raymond. How can you say that to me? I will not be involved with you guys. I will call the teacher. At home. This is too far. Why did you and Troy get into the fight? He hit me first. I have had enough. After finishing the college entrance exam, I will stay in the university dormitory. You all hate me, so there is no reason that I have to stay here. Why do I suddenly feel bad about this? Do you think that we're too harsh on him? I don't know. No one will ever see this birthmark again. Since then, until the day Troy has the final college entrance exam, he only focuses on studying. He doesn't care to his parents at all. And he finally got into college. At last, I can get out of this house and live on my own. No one will know anything happens here. I can start my own life now. Today is the happiest day of my life. Oh, here is my bus. Oh wait, he dropped the wallet. Hey man, you dropped your wallet. Hey bro, your wallet. Oh what, my wallet? Did I drop it? Yes, you dropped it when you got off the bus. Thank you. So you are also new here? Yeah, I'm new. So what room are you in? I stay at room 203. What about you? Oh really? I stay at that room too. No way, man. Yes way, dude. Are we gonna be roommates? I'm Troy, by the way. I'm Steve, nice to meet you. Thank you for the wallet again. Come on, we're roommates now. You are too polite, haha. <laughs> hmm, what do you think? I, I choose, choose the, the top. Ah, oh, uh, we're, we're the, the same, same thought, thought, man. Man, haha. <laughs> Dude, Dude, I have never been laughing so much like this. Why? Oh, um, it's nothing. I'm just saying that. We should unpack our things. Later that night. I haven't laughed this much in a long time. Bro, have you done yet? Wait a minute. I'm almost done now. I can't take it anymore. No, no. Why did you come in here? Do not tell anyone about this, please. Is that your birthmark? It's my birthmark, and it's weird. I'm a weirdo. Hey, why did you say that? You are not a weirdo. You didn't tease me? No. Why would I do that? Because I have same birthmark as you. Wow, I have never seen anyone else have a birthmark but myself. I think this is our destiny that brought us together. You don't know how my life so miserable back then. I just want to escape that life so I could begin a new life here. We're in the same situation, I felt for you. But hey, can you get out now? I'm having a stomachache. Tomorrow. Bro, someone is knocking at the door. Leave them. I want to sleep more. You open and made them away, Troy. Troy, open the door. Huh? Did he just call me? Who could that be? Hey, brother. Raymond, the heck are you doing here? What? I can't visit my brother. Who is he, Troy? He is my annoying brother, Raymond. Raymond, this is Steve, my roommate. What do you want now? Can't you spare my life for just a month? Come on, mom told me to look after you. You're new in the college, you might need some guide from me. Oh, now mom cares for me? Since when do I have that privilege? I can do it on my own, I don't need your help. I think that is a good idea. You can tell us about more life in college. See, Steve needs my help. Get ready and we will leave soon. At college school. The school looks nice, isn't it? There are a lot of people here so be careful when choosing friends. That is a good advice. You to just go find your class. I'll go to the toilet for a while. I guess this is our class. Hey everyone, nice to meet you all because we're in the same class now. Why did you push me? Oh no no. Is that a birthmark? Oh, you have a birthmark. That's so cool. I have a birthmark too. See. Wow, look at this birthmark, guys. It looks like Harry Potter's birthmark. You're right. I wish I have a birthmark like you guys. What? what? You guys don't tease our birthmarks? But it's weird, you know. We won't tease you because of that birthmark. Besides, you look like the real Harry Potter with it. What? That is not supposed to happen. You have to tease him. We are not like that type of people. We do not use other people's flaws to speak badly. 
You're right, and who are you anyways? If you are not the student in this school, please leave. I can't believe it. This is my very first time I have seen such nice people like you guys. My whole life and Steve's have always been teased by other people. Yeah, we just want to thank you for protecting us. Thank you all, guys. Remember, we all have our own beauty. We don't need to hide anything. We're special in our own way. The end. Thank you for watching. People often say that appearance doesn't tell age. And I feel like it's me. I always look younger than everyone. Today is my daughter's first day at school. But I'm a bit worried for her. What should I do? Mom, Mom, look at me. Do I look pretty? Oh, you are so cute, dear. That's the outfit I've been preparing since last night. I want my first day of school to be memorable. I hope so, dear. This is your lunchbox. I made your favorite meal. Yay! Thank you, Mom. I guess it's fried chicken, right? Correct. This is my best day, Mom. So come on, I will take you to school. Okay. My daughter looks smaller than all the others. What's wrong, Mom? Are you upset? Ha! Huh? Ah! No, no. I'm not. Don't worry, Mom. I will go home with you after class is over. I miss you too. But you know, I need to go to school. Ha ha ha, okay, okay. Have a nice day, Linda. I will see you after school. Okay, Mom. Ten minutes later. <laughs> there are so many people here. Don't worry, I can do it. Um, hello everyone. Huh? Who are you? I'm new, as you guys. Are you sure about that? What do you mean? You look so small, like my younger sister. Yeah, are you sure you're in the right class? Or are you the child of a certain teacher? Yeah, if so, we'll help you get to the teacher's room. No, my mother is not a teacher. And I actually go to school here. Ha ha ha. You're so cute, little girl. We will help you, don't worry. Hey, what are you doing? We will help you find your mother. What? No, I told you that my mother is not here. She is definitely lost. Yeah, I can see that. Calm down, girl. We can help you. But... <laughs> <laughs> Let me go. What happened? The place where I work is not a place you can go to any time. Teacher, we have a reason. Huh? Teacher, look at her. Is she your daughter? No. Why do you ask that? See, I already told you. I'm not her daughter. My mom is at work. Well, little girl, who are you? I'm a student here. Are you sure? You look like you're in kindergarten. See, we already told you. We knew right away that she was from kindergarten. No, I'm not. I finished my kindergarten course. If you don't believe me, you can call my mom. Oh, okay. I will do that. Do you remember her numbers? I ugh. I don't remember her numbers. Oh, it's okay. A little girl can't remember her mother's phone number. That's fine. We also forget it sometimes. Yeah. Stop calling me little girl. I have a name. My name is Linda. Linda? Okay. I will call your mom right now. And of course, my mother explained to the teacher that I'm not a kindergarten student. 
The class went on awkwardly. Please take a break. We will meet again after one hour. Okay, okay teacher. 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 Even though it's a bit messy in the morning, but it's okay. At least I can have a peaceful lunch. What? Hey, um, we need to say something to you. Yeah, please listen to us. Okay, but I'm not a baby, okay? Of course we know that. So sorry. We just wanted to say sorry for forcing you to go to the teacher's room. It's just that we've never seen anyone as small as you but the same age as us. Yeah, we're so sorry. Please forgive us. Oh, are they apologizing to me? Okay, okay, that's over. You guys are trying to do good anyway. Really? Really. I'm not a sulky person, so I forgive you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. We were worried that you would hate us because we were so rude. It's okay. I forgive you now, right? Anyway, my name is Linda. Nice to meet you guys. I'm Dan. Nice to meet you. And I'm Jane. It's so nice to see you. Hee <laughs> hee. Me too. So let's have lunch together, okay? My mother cooks very well. Really? My mom also makes some delicious food. Me too. Wait for me. I will show you guys. Ha ha! Slow down, Jane. That's how I made friends with my two childhood friends. It was a bit awkward at first, but I'm fine with it. Twelve years later. What's wrong, honey? Mom, I look like a middle school student. I've been misunderstood by a lot of people lately. James and Dan went to another school so they weren't there to explain it to me. I'm tired of explaining my age to everyone. Don't worry about that, honey. I'm sure you'll take care of it. But what if I'm not? They always treat me like a child. So you should be happy, you look younger than everyone else. Ugh, I don't want that, mom. You don't understand. Oh my, has she reached puberty? Oops. I almost forgot it. She's already in high school, haha. -ha. Yeah, I admit that I rely too much on James and Dan. Without them, I don't feel confident. It's okay, Linda. Just go ahead and make friends, that's it. Hey little girl, what are you doing in here? You can't find your school? Oh no, not again. No, I... Or are you really studying here? Uh, yes, that's what I mean. Hmm, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, you can see I look younger and younger than you. But actually, I'm 17 years old. Wow, damn, that was quite a surprise. If you don't confirm, I'll really think you're a little girl who went to the wrong school. I know that. Don't worry, now I got you. Just come with me. I can help you. Really? Thank you so much. Hee <laughs> hee, you're welcome. By the way, my name is Irene. What about you? Linda, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Wow, Dan, she looks so attractive. Hey bro, we have a new friend. Oh shoot, I have not prepared. Damn, don't tell me you bring your sister to school. Not again. No, no, you're so wrong, bro. Ouch, what the? She is the same age as us, and her name is Linda. Wait, what, really? Nice to meet you, bro. I'm Linda. Wait, wait. You look so petite. You look like you're growing slower than everyone else. I know that. You dumb ass. Ouch, that's really hurt. Yeah, and you deserve that. Why did you say that? It's body shaming. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. It's okay anyway. Now you know I'm not a kid anymore. Thanks, by the way my name is Jack. Nice to meet you, Linda. See, that's better.
What is she doing? Da, I have no idea. She's the coolest girl in this class, I heard that. Huh, really? If we talk about the coolest, I think it's Irene. Oh my, that is the best thing I've ever heard. I love you so, so much, Linda. Oh ha ha, I just say the truth. Stop, guys. I'm not invisible, I'm present. Duh, look at her. She's new, yet she compliments me more than you. Well, we've been together for more than four years. Shut up, dude. Ahem. Excuse me, please. You guys are too loud. To me. Pfft. What? Ahem, nothing. So sorry. We just told a quick joke. Yeah, and it's not about you, so don't worry. TCH. You better don't. Every course has a girl like that. Yeah, I can see that. We'd better ignore her and not stick with her. Ah, uh, they are whispering something that I don't know. After school. I said that I want to visit the school before leaving. So Irene and Jack went home first. The flower garden here is so beautiful. I wonder if the school hired its own gardener or the students took care of it. I think both of them. Ah. Oh, dang it, sorry. I don't mean to startle you. No, no, it's okay. I'm fine. Are you taking care of flowers? As you can see. Wow, so cool. And he looks very good too. You're the new student, aren't you? Yes, I am. Why do you know that? I thought he would think I looked like a lost baby girl. Because you're here, that's all. This school is very guarded. If you are not a student here, you cannot enter here. Oh, I get it. Don't you think I'm smaller than usual? I mean, I look so young. Huh? Are you concerned about that? I think it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you look smaller than other people. Be yourself. Maybe it's your luck. Who knows? Oh my, he's so kind to me. T, thank you. You're the one who just met me for the first time and said such nice words. You're welcome. Anyway, if you like these flowers too, see me after school, like today. I'll show you how to take care of them. Cool, I love that and yeah, I will do that. Great, then see you tomorrow. Okay, see ya. At home. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> His name is Sam and he's really nice. I need to tell my friends about this. Guys. Oh hey, Linda. Long time no see. Hello. Yeah, long time no see, guys. How are you? I'm still good. It's just that it's boring here. I don't get along well with anyone. Spanish is so hard to speak. Well, I can see that. But cheer up, I think you can deal with it well. Thanks, I think so. What about you, Jame? Me? Oh, I'm still good. But without you guys, I feel very sad. Ah, come on, Jame, we can meet again sometime. I want to, but I'm too busy. Furthermore, I'm in boarding school. At least you're still closer to Lindy than me. Lindy, stop bro, don't call me that. Why, that name is cute. Only called it when we were kids, now I'm grow up. Pfft, oh really? Hey, hey, watch your mouth bro. Yeah, about that, how do you look now Linda? I mean, have you grown up yet? Dude, really? No, I really mean it. I think after that much time, you must have changed something. We're not with you, so we really don't know what you look like. And we are also worried about you being awkward with new people. He's right. Then I'll take a picture of myself for you to see, okay? Does that make sense? Oh, wow. That's cool. If you say so. Yeah, why not? Okay, then wait for me. Here. Well, what can I say? You are a little older but not by much. Same thought. Ah, come on. 
At least I'm five inches taller. Okay, okay, you've grown up, haha. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to see you guys again. Me too. Same. Oh wait, I almost forgot something. I'm going to tell you a good news. Oh, what's that? Today I met a boy, and he didn't wonder why I look smaller than everyone else. I feel that he is so special. Oh please, Lindy. Don't think like that just because he treats you normally. He's nothing special, he just treats you normally. Um, I have no idea, but I think Dan was right. But if he's really that kind then, that's a good thing. Good what? Yeah, you're right, Jame. Only you know me well. Not like someone. Wait, I just said the truth. Nah, you're just jealous, Dan. Wha what? No, I... Don't worry, Linda. I'm glad you have someone who treats you as well as he does. What is his name? Oh my, thank you so much, Jame. His name is Sam, and he loves flowers. Fifteen minutes later. Oh, shoot, I almost forgot it. My mother is home. I have to go to the mall with her. See you guys again. Yeah, bye. See ya. What? You. Jane. What the hell? Some time later, at the school. Are you free today, Linda? I mean after class, we can go back home together. Yeah, and I know a pretty good cake shop. Wow, sound cool, but I had an appointment with Sam. Yeah, I can see that. Who is that boy? What? Ah, oh, come on, I know girls. But you don't have to tell us, I'll notice anyway. Stop, Irene, you make me shy. Oh yeah, then I guess I'm right. No, we just met. Yeah, that's the reason why you're busy. Stop. Huh, no one would date someone like her. Huh? She's as small as a pea. Guys will just treat her like a little sister. More than a lover. Excuse me? I haven't said anything about you. I'm just telling the truth. Are you sure? You are too confident. Nah, just ignore her. She dates a lot of different guys. So maybe she's the expert in this case. Hey, excuse me, what do you mean? Oops, did I say something wrong? You're just mocking me. Oh really, did I? Come on guys, don't argue. Just ignore her, I know what I need to do. If you say so. Annoying. She's the one who's the loudest. After that, I saw Sam every day after school, we became close. Today is the day I will fertilize the flowers. Cool, can I help? Oh, haha, <laughs> if you say so. But it will smell bad. I don't want you to get dirty. So I think you just need to stand aside and watch me do it, okay? It's okay, even if it's dirty, I just need to take a shower. No, no, a lovely girl like you shouldn't be dirty. And don't worry, and really do it myself. OMG, is he worried about me? I it's okay, I can handle it. Here, as you can see. Whoa. Are you okay? Did you hurt somewhere? And no, I'm good. Thank you for your concern. Oh, my god, you don't need to say that. If you get hurt, I will be very sad. Oh my god, oh my god. T thanks, I, I didn't nug. Hey, what's wrong? Well, I hope she's okay. Yes, yes, surely he has the same thoughts as mine. I need some advice. But who? Dan doesn't seem to want to talk to me much, and I haven't asked for Irene's phone number yet. Oh, I know. Where is he? Hello, sup, Linda. Ah, here you are, Jame. I need your help. Yeah, feel free to talk. I'm listening. I think I have a crush on Sam. Oh, wow, that's good news. So his name is Sam? Yeah, and? I don't know how to tell him, because I've only known him for two weeks. 
Does he think I'm in a hurry? Well, I don't think so. There are many people who still fall in love at first sight. I think you should try it. What if he rejects me? That's that. Well, you know, you can't be sure if people like you if you don't ask them, or they don't tell you. Furthermore, you have to prepare yourself for rejection. You know, it's not easy for everyone to agree to something. You're right, Jane. But how am I supposed to tell him? Just meet him at the place where you first met, and tell him the truth. I know it sounds easy, but it's hard to say. But it's still better than being silent. It is important that you are sincere. Yeah, I get it. Thank you. Hey, why do you guys play together without calling me? Oops, I need to go first. Wait, what? Why did you? Hey, why did she leave right after seeing me? What did you guys talk about? She asked me how to confess to a guy. What? And you tell her how? Yeah, why not? She's my friend. Damn it, really? And I'm not. What do you mean, bro? Lately, you keep getting mad when Linda mentions another guy. Oh, I get it. F you. What? If you like her, then you have to tell her. Why blame me? Gosh, he's really getting on my nerve. So the next day, I decided to use all my courage to confess to Sam. Where is he? I guess he should be here by now. Linda? Ah, Sam, it's so nice to see you again. Yeah, what's up? I, I have something want to tell you. Really? Haha, <laughs> just tell me, I always listening to you. Yes, things are going well. I, I have this for you. T this is my feeling for you, Sam. I hope you will understand it and take it. Wow, I didn't know that. I? It's it's okay, I guess he's just shy. I just see you like a friend. Uh, no, I mean, a sister. Yeah, younger sister. W what? I used to have a younger sister, but after my parents divorced, I didn't get to see her much anymore. And she just passed away early last year, so... I'm so sorry I didn't treat you the way you thought, but... No, you treat me so well, so I... I'm so sorry. Moreover, I rejected you for more than just that. Yeah, at least that makes me feel better than being treated like a little sister. I already have a girl. Babe, what are you doing? You promised to take me out. Ah, uh, here you are, Kim. I would like to introduce you to someone. What the? What? You are? Oh, you guys know each other. She is. I heard her call you, babe. Yeah, she is my. I'm his girlfriend. What's your problem? And no way. You like girls like her? Um, Linda, the way you talk like that, it's so rude. Doesn't look like my sister at all. What? Oh, ha ha. I see what's going on. Well, well, what just I said. Am I wrong? Ugh. He just see you like a child. Shut up. I'm the one who doesn't need to be treated like that. Even if it's true that I really like him. But, but. They treat me like a child. Again. Ugh. Oh, my. Do we make her sad? TCH. Just ignore that brat. She's not even your sister. Don't pay too much attention to her or I'll get jealous. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Don't worry. Hee <laughs> hee, that's my boy. Ugh, no way. They treat me like a child again. Again and again. I hate myself. Why can't I be like a normal person? Hello? Hey, what's going on? What do you mean? Are you crying? What? No, I... Come on, Linda. We've known each other for more than 10 years. Do you think you can lie to me? Ugh, so what? Are you laughing at my failure? You don't like this anyway. I never said that. Listen, if you like someone and live happily with that person, then I'm really happy for you. I know I misbehaved when I got mad at you at that time. 
but I didn't mean it. And I'm so sorry. But he rejected me. Well, I can see that. I've never felt so disgusted with myself. They laughed at me. Hey, hey, don't think like that, okay? We don't think of you that way. Well, I admit that not everyone is immediately acquainted with you, with your appearance. But the important thing is that they are honest with you. And so am I. Dan. I. Yes? I realized I just need to pay attention to the people who care about me. Right? That's right. Like me, for example. Pfft. Ha ha ha. Okay, okay. And today I call you also to tell you one thing. Yeah? After convincing my parents, they decided to let me return to my country. And I will live with my grandparents. Um, are you kidding me? Hey, I wouldn't be happy if it was a lie. Ha ha, why should I lie to you? I always look forward to meeting you. Did that make you happier? Lucky for you, I'm really happy. Great, then see you tomorrow. I'll take you out to eat at the restaurant we usually go to. I'll pay. Wow, I love that idea. Ha <laughs> ha. Although I'm really sad that my first love didn't go well, I realize that I still have a lot of people by my side. Well, he said he would be five minutes late. This time he has forewarned pardon. Lindy. Wait, what? Dan, is that you? Yeah, it's me. What's wrong? Why are you so tall? Do you wear heels? Huh? No, as you can see. No way. Am I the only one still not growing? It's not fair. Haha, -ha. why do you think so? I think you look so much better. At least you're taller than five years ago and prettier. Why what? Shut it, dude. Come on, I'm waiting for you to pay. Haha, -ha, okay, okay. After meeting Dan again, we hung out a lot. I have to admit that he really understands me and knows what I want. Then, one day. So, um, Lindy? Yes, he still calls me that, but I'm used to it. I don't know what you're thinking, but... I ugh, you know, I I mean. Whoa. Stop thinking, Dan. You are panicking. Am I? Sorry, I'm so nervous to say this. But, can I be your boyfriend? Wow. You? Pfft. Ha ha ha. I think we've been like that for a long time. What? You treat me so tenderly, you buy me everything I want, even what I don't want you to buy for me. And you treat my mother so gently, you always find a way to comfort me when I'm sad or angry. You think I don't recognize your feelings? Wait, you know it all? Yeah, and what do you think my answer is? I think you already have the answer. This is so great, oh my god. Hey. I'm so happy, Lindy. When I was abroad, I was afraid that I would lose you because we were too far apart. But it's amazing that you're still with me after all. I was really scared when I heard you're in love with someone, I panicked. You are the main reason I want to come back here, Lindy. You. Oh shit, this makes me so embarrassed. I don't know how to respond. I'm glad you feel the same way about me. I ugh. No, no, I can't. Too shy. I love you, Lindy. Thank you for accepting me. Ah, oh, Dan, I love you too. A few years after graduation, Dan and I went to the same university. As my final years of university came to an end, I received a surprise. Congratulations, Congratulations on, your on your graduation, Linda. Linda. Ah, thank you guys. You do not need to bring gifts for me. Nah, just take it, they are homemade gifts. So don't worry about the price, it has more spiritual value. Ah, thank you guys again, hee <laughs> hee. Damn, I wish I could also experience college once. But what to do? I don't like studying at all. Your words are contradictory, Irene. So what? Ha ha. You can try it if you really want. I wonder where are Dan and James? They said they would come here. Linda, I'm here. Wait. What the hell, James? 
Did you keep the whole castle in that box or something? Whoa, this makes me dizzy. Cool, I want to see it's going. Why does it look like you already know something? Because I watch TikTok a lot. That doesn't explain anything. It looks big, but it's really big, haha. <laughs> and heavy too. What is this, dude? What did you stuff in there? You can open it. What? Right now? Yeah, this is Dan's present. He said that today won't come. So this gift is to make up for you. What? That's not fair. I want him, not only this gift. I knew you would say that right away, but don't get angry. Just open it and you will know. Fine, let me see. No matter how big the gift is, I'm still mad. Why did he break his promise? Today's party is for both of us. Tada! Ah. Jesus. Pfft. <laughs> I knew it. You give me a heart attack. I'm sorry, sorry, haha. -ha. I just wanted to surprise you. Oh, come on, you already do that. No, I mean this. I don't know if it's early for you, but... Will you marry me, Linda? Oh my god. I knew it. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was tired to bring him in here. If she doesn't agree, I'll demand compensation from Dan. Yeah, you must do that. So, what's your answer? What the hell do you mean? Of course, yes. Whoa! Yeah, a 100% success party. I'm so emotional. Same. We got married and have a stable life. But I still have some problems. Dan isn't at home today. He's been on a business trip for two days. I guess I have to take a taxi home. Hey, excuse me. Can I ask? From here to- What? Do you want to take a taxi? God, I probably can't take you home. Huh? Where are your parents? You can't just take a car like that. Wait, what? I'm 25 years old. I'm not a kid. Hey, lying is not a good idea. If I drive you, the police will arrest me. Wait, I'm actually 25 years old. You'd better go to the police station if you get lost. What the hell? Not again? I ended up walking home because no one would let me get in the car, even when I showed my ID. What's wrong, babe? Are you still depressed about the taxi thing? You could say that. I still have a bit of a problem with my appearance. Huh? Like what? I almost didn't get the job because my company thought I lied about my age and faked my resume. Oh damn, this is so horrible. Yeah, let me tell you. Flashback. So, you're 25 years old. Yes, that's what that paper says. Um, so sorry. You look like my daughter. That's what I hear every day. I've been to many companies, please. I'm really 25 years old. Well, I can see that. Your looks confuse us. It also confused me all the time, from childhood to adulthood. Um, but anyway I find your profile very impressive, I will trust you. Oh my god, really? You know, there's a lot of scams these days, but I still choose to believe you. Don't let me down, okay? I mean, don't lie to me after all. Yes boss, I understand, thank you so much. And flashback. Luckily they chose to trust me. That's great, I'm glad they accepted you. I just wish I could grow up a little more. To me, you are beautiful no matter what. As shut up. I already know that. Then to celebrate your birthday tomorrow, I have a special gift. Oh my. What's that? You will know it tomorrow. Huh? And that gift is a baby equals. Ten years later. Ha, huh, of course. You don't look much changed, Irene. And you look really old. Have you grown a beard? Gosh, that's what every man goes through. <laughs> I can see that. Anyway, long time no see. How are you? Still trying to be better, and you? Look at me, full of life. That's my answer. 
Okay, okay. Looks like Linda hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, since working in another city, I rarely contact her. Same, I still text her, but after having a baby she's even busier. Yeah, I- Hey, bro, you know that man? Yeah, of course I know him. What do you think? Not interested. Uh, this party is so poor. I knew it. Don't stick to her. You think I want it? I'm just warning you. Hi, guys. Oh my goodness, look at you, my girl. You look like you're 20 years old. This is not okay. I think even if you were 40 now, you still look good. Oh, haha. Ha. What are you talking about? Stop complimenting me. I've heard that too much. Linda? What the? Whoa, whoa, calm down, man. What are you doing? We don't know you. Yeah, I remember we weren't that close. But. Ah, uh, come on, guys. Haha. Ha. Just chill. He was also a close friend of mine. Well, but we don't think so. What kind of skin cream did you use? You have skin like a baby. Honestly, I don't use anything. What? Impossible. It's not fair. You must lie. Stop it, Kim. You haven't changed since we broke up. Shut up, dude. The person who just dated me for two months doesn't deserve to be an ex. And don't raise your voice to teach me. He's still the same. So, Linda, nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, I mean, wow, you look really beautiful. While everyone is getting old, but you. Well, I'll take it as a compliment. Yeah, and I want to know if I still have a chance. Damn, but we just say the truth, Linda. I can't believe you gave birth to a baby. What? Yeah, your son must be almost 10 years old, right? Oh, ha ha. Right. Next year is his 10th birthday. Wait, do you have a family? Yeah, I bet you don't know that. Yes, I actually don't know that until... Mom, I'm here. Liam, Dan, what are you doing in here? Well, well, I love this situation. You're so cruel, Irene. But same thought. He he. Ugh. So this is my husband and my son, Sam. Sam? Oh, wow. I didn't expect to have the pleasure of meeting you. What do you mean? I mean, thank you. Thanks to your help, I was able to have such a beautiful wife. Pfft. What? Stop, Dan. Aw, uh, don't be mad at me, babe. Don't mad at him, Mom. Oh my, I can't be mad at you two. Yeah, I know we are so cruel, but... I enjoy being a bad guy, hee <laughs> hee. Come on, Irene. That is in the past. But he still wants to try flirting with you. I know that, hee <laughs> hee. That's why I called Dan and Liam here. Whoa, damn. Emotional damage. Ha ha ha. What's so funny? Tell me. Oh, I will tell you later. After all, even though it's a bit troublesome, I still have my own family. And I'm so happy right now, that's all. The end.